Welcome to this video. I think the last time we covered the tail. Let's do something with the canards. That would be pretty fun this time around. I'm going to control one. And I've got the rear view here. Uh, I'm going to activate my front view and hide my rear view. And that might be a little bit more clear for the canards, especially as we uh, make our second and third sketches. I'm going to make a plane that uh, is first. Uh, parallel to the right plane. So we're going to bring it out to the very end of the canard. Now I can sketch on this plane. I'm going to make a slot. This may uh, bring back memories. of doing the wings like this. It's a little bit awkward that I have to reference the height of my canard from the front view. I'm going to give this a height of eighth of an inch. There we go. So that will be the end of the canard. And I can give this a height to lock it in. So we'll give it a little vertical dimension there. Now we just have to worry about lining it up to the top view, which again is not normal to the sketch. It makes it kind of awkward. But give it a try. So go to the top view. Maybe it will let me adjust. So I can adjust it there. can uh, hopefully hide my plane and that will make it a little bit more clear to try to read. Come on. Yeah, it wants me to have my view just ever so slightly askew to be able to adjust it. So it makes image modeling a little bit more difficult and awkward. Nevertheless, I think we're uh, pretty well aligned there. So if I want to make sure to lock it into place uh, for the specific example of not having to do that awkward alignment again, then I certainly can. I'll just use Smart Dimension. That fully defines it. To help me out, I can reference the outside of the canard using two points placed at the midpoint of the arc. Now let's sketch on the uh, top plane. And as we have in the wings, I'm going to grab this center line. And we hug the outside of the canard. Now if I put the sketch on the right plane and loft it through the body, I know where I need my sketch to end to meet the dimensions that I see from above. Uh, I certainly can fix the ends of my lines if I'm worried about them moving. So we'll rebuild that.
And we can reference that from the right plane. Sketch. Let's go with another slot here. And putting points at the very edges, I simply uh, choose from the sketch that I've just made a so it looks like doesn't look like it wants to select. There we go. There's one line vertical. There's another line vertical. And now the question is what height do we want to use? And to answer that, let's go to the front view. I like want to be relatively low to see where this uh, intersects here. I'm going to lower that slot height, and uh, that looks about right. I just want to make that slot height defined. Let's go with something like 0.35, and that way the slot will narrow as it leaves the body of the plane. Uh, so we're going to go control 1. that down just a bit. And that should be pretty well there. I'm going to features, uh, rebuild, loft from here to here. It's nice that our canards are very linear, otherwise we'll have to do something that's a little bit more complicated. You can see that doesn't show up, so we want to move their handle from one place to another. And if I look at the uh, canard preview, that very well fits the line there. And from the top, um, yeah, we fit the outside of the canard really well. So it looks at that. And uh, there's our canard. I think I can mirror. We'll choose the right plane. There we have the canards on our fighter. That's uh, really starting to look like a uh, fighter jet now. Uh, we do have some other features to add. Particularly, there's no intakes for the engines yet. We don't have uh, anywhere to refuel in the midair. So, and, and we don't have lines on our canopy or lines on the wings or anything. So we still have some uh, decorations and other important aspects of the plane. We don't have rear nozzles either. So uh, join me in the next video, and we'll cover some of that. Uh, hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.